Today we are talking about electronic distance measurement EDM and total station. Total station is the most widely used and advanced surveying instrument all around the world. So to understand total station you need to understand EDM also. Okay. So we are starting. Suppose you want to measure distance between two stations A and B. You can measure either by using a tape running from A to B. It is called as direct measurement or you can measure it by tachymetry or using theodolite light that is optical measurement and the last one and the most advanced one is electronic distance measurement in this as the name indicates we measure the distance using electromagnetic waves we have seen the same concept on sonograms the instruments used to measure the depth of ocean in plus one plus two classes okay so there will be a source in this case it is edm that will be placed at station A and from it there will be transmission of electromagnetic energy or wave and that will be striking the reflector at point B and it will be returning back to transmitter and the time taken from the both ends will be calculated. The time taken from the transmission to reception will be calculated with respect to velocity of that particular wave that was transmitted you can calculate easily calculate distance that will be calculated by the EDM itself and will be given to you digitally. So EDM is a method of determining the length between two points using phase changes that occur as electromagnetic energy waves travels from one end of the line to other end. Okay. In this method instruments are used to measure distance that rely on electromagnetic waves like radio, visible light or infrared waves. So this is just the fundamental definition of EDM. So using phase changes, phase changes is minute variation of the point where it is reflected back. Okay, that is phase changes and using phase changes you can increase the precision of this calculation to any extent. And the waves like radio visible and infrared waves are used for this transmission and reception. Accuracy and, and precision will be varied accordingly. Okay. Principle of EDM is just the concept that we have discussed in that sketch before previous slide. The basic principle is determination of time required for ultramagnetic waves to travel between two stations. Velocity of that wave will be the basis of all computations. If you are taking a radio wave, you will be having a different velocity for it. And if you are taking visible light, you will be having a different velocity. Using that velocity, V into T, you will be calculating distance. Okay. Depending on the type of wave, electromagnetic wave that we are using for measurement of this distance, transmission and reception, we can classify EDM instruments as microwave instruments, infrared wave instruments and light wave instruments. Obviously, as the name indicates, microwave instruments will be using microwaves for measuring, infrared will be used for ins infrared wave instruments and light wave will be used for light wave instruments. Okay. Next one. So that was about EDM and we are getting into our main point, main topic, total station. Total station is a surveying equipment. This is a combination of an EDM instrument and electronic theodolite. EDM we have just mentioned. We know what is a theodolite is. We use theodolite for angle measurement, right? Horizontal angle and vertical angles, accurate angle measurements. So an electronic theodolite and EDM instrument is both combined inside total station. So total station can be used to measure horizontal and vertical angles as well as sloping distance of object to the instrument okay so this is a typical total station whether it is a road construction dam construction building bridges anything tunnel etc you will need a total station for sure it is the most common and most advanced surveying instrument currently used okay so we have some parts addressed in this image you can go through it one by one you can address more than this in a total station you can address about 20 parts one by one and all the major things are addressed in this image okay so be, please go through fundamental measurements done by total station okay suppose we are citing an object after all the temporary adjustments in the total station 
and it measures three things horizontal angle vertical angle and slope distance obviously horizontal angle and vertical angle will be measured by the electronic theodolite embedded inside and the slope distance will be measured by obviously edm okay so these three will be the main measurements done by the total station and whatever values we obtain from the total station will be derived from these three okay if you want an area total station will be calculating area using this vertical angle horizontal angle and slope distance okay so previous one was fundamental measurements done by total station so this one is primary functions we use total station for what we want from total station is angle measurement distance measurement and coordinate measurements okay so we need angle measurements between a set of sides a from b b to c etc distance measurement from between stations and coordinates to be plotted at stations okay using that you will want to plot a map digitally or you can plot a map within ourselves towards the site using total station okay advantages of using total station why do we use total station instead of dumbbe level uh, theodolite normal theodolite or any other optical or electronic instrument for that matter first one is field work is carried out very fast so compared to any electronic and optical instruments surveying instruments field work will be at its maximum speed we if we are using total station at a pressing of a single button you will you can get area you can get volume you can get perimeter distance angle etc okay second one accuracy of measurement is very high as you can see as all the things are digitally and electronically inside the total station you will get accuracy as maximum compared to all the optical instruments manual errors involving in reading and recording are eliminated suppose you are taking an area of a cross traverse you will be measuring all the sides and angles and you will be calculating it manually okay so in total station you would just need to traverse it by its own procedure and total station will give directly the area by itself so you need need not calculate anything by your own hence manual errors are eliminated also calculations of coordinates is very fast and accurate even corrections for temperature and pressure are automatically made by total station itself if you have other accessories and other add on instruments with it you can get its precision and quality of values even higher and higher okay last point and this is the game changer for total stations compared to other computers can be employed and connected to total station for map making and plotting contour and cross sections contour intervals and scales can be changed in no time okay so you can connect computers or pcs with the total station and manipulate and use and analyze data with each other if you have data in your computer you can take that data through memory card into the total station and plot that points on the ground or suppose you have the points in that ground and if you take it the coordinates into total station you can take out the memory card and connect it to computer and make an autocad map of those points in your computer okay so this is kind of a game changer or the main difference made in total station compared to other electronic and optical surveying instruments okay